We begin with the tight race in Georgia. Former Vice President Joe Biden inching ahead while many of you were sleeping, taking a slim lead over President Trump. Right now, Mr. Biden is leading by 1,579 votes, increasing that lead by about 500 within the last hour. Georgia is one of two states with huge developments over the course of the morning. Just hours ago, NBC News reporting that Vice President Biden also took the lead in Pennsylvania. These new leads coming in as mail in ballots continue to be counted. Pennsylvania has 20 electoral college votes up for grabs, while Georgia has 16. Now, if Biden can hold on to his lead to win either by the Associated Press's count, he would have the 270 votes needed to win. That is the magic number. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Sheba Russell. And I'm Cheryl Preheim. Just over 4,000 votes left to be counted. Georgia's Secretary of State's office says the presidential race is so close he does expect a recount, but that would not happen until after November 20th when the state certifies the ballots. The so-called numbers guy, Gabriel Sterling, updating us. Also commenting on allegations of voter fraud, saying so far there have been no widespread irregularities in Georgia. Jerry Carnes was at that 10.30 a.m. briefing at the state capitol. He joins us live with the latest. Good afternoon, Sheba. Georgia's Secretary of State has heard the allegations coming from the Trump campaign uh, of widespread voter irregularities. These allegations aimed at several states. This morning, his office expressed confidence in the integrity of the process here. First, let's get to the vote count. In addition to the uh, little more than 4,000 uncounted votes that have been received here in Georgia, the nearly, there are the nearly 9,000 overseas and military ballots that can come any time before 5 p.m. today, and that is why the total vote count here in Georgia will not come until sometime this weekend. And as far as those allegations of voter fraud, the Trump campaign issued a statement today saying it is confident it will find evidence of ballot harvesting here in Georgia. Here is Gabriel Sterling of the Secretary of State's office. We're not seeing any widespread irregularities. We're not seeing anything widespread. We are, we are investigating any credible uh, accusation with any real evidence behind it. But let me tell you one thing. When you have a narrow margin, little small things can make a difference. Now, in addition to the count, you will have the, the inevitable recount. And then Gabriel Sterling pointed out there will likely be lawsuits that will drag this out even further.